as we move down, this is a 1914 10 horsepower and the last of the 10 horsepower cars. After this year, they didn't build anything but 20 horsepower and that's when the condenser came in and so forth. This is the last of the coffin nose uh, and the last of the small boilers and engines. Actually, this boiler is a little larger than the earlier 10 horse, like the EX over here. This is 20 inches in diameter, but it has the small 10 horsepower engine. It's a very easy car to drive as antique cars go. It's light, it steers easy. Uh, this car I bought new, and uh, not new, I bought it as my first car in 1946 from Donald Randall up in uh, Randolph, Massachusetts. I had to pay $500 for it. Um, uh, just out of the service, that seemed like a lot of money. But it's, it's worth it now. And uh, I've used it a lot over the years. I used it the most, I suppose, the first 10 years I had it. And then after that, I started to use my father's cars more and drove this one less. But since uh, the steam team started 10 years ago, this car has been used quite a lot since. And it's a good training car for new drivers. Um, and uh, was uh, a four-passenger car called a Model 607, 1914.